Oh god, I swear I got hit by a massive stone in my head. been a long time I know. <laughs> I'm in Morocco and um, I've never been here before and this is my first vlog of 2018 which is crazy I can't believe it's been this long since I've vlogged anything I feel like I've forgotten what to do. <laughs> I'm doing a tour with Travel Talk Tours it's called the Adventure Morocco Tour so we're going to go in a loop around from Marrakesh and back to Marrakesh um, and we're going to go to the Sahara, we're going to ride some camels, do, some, do a 4x4 jeep tour thing go to some souks, markets, it's going to be great, I'm so excited. Um, I've actually booked this tour for my birthday, so this is a little present for me, really. <laughs> this is my room. I'm sharing with another girl, haven't met her yet, but that's all her stuff. Um, and not sure about this situation right now. I'm sure we'll split the beds probably later. <laughs> So I'll probably go to the bar in a bit to try and find her. I think that's where everyone else has gone because customs was horrific. Customs was the worst customs I've ever done. Worst customs ever. It took us um, nearly two, two, just over two hours to get through customs. Um, it was that hot and horrendous. They've got the worst queuing system I've ever seen. <laughs> um, and then someone passed out in the queue. It was that hot and they just acted like it was just the normal. Weird. Then we had to go and try and get out of the airport and <laughs> they had a queue to get out of the airport. Usually they have like a declare aisle and a no, do not have nothing to declare aisle and you go through one door or the other door but it was like they were switched and reversed. So usually the people that have to declare stuff, usually their line's really long. However, everyone didn't want to declare anything so we're all in a really ridiculously long aisle. It was honestly horrible it was like an hour long i don't wait i hate waiting i know i'm british and i love a good queue but that was horrible my vlogs from here on will be basically based on um anxiety um because i have anxiety i i have asperger's which means i have low filter and um i have horrendous anxiety for most of the time um which is why i stopped traveling for a while which is this why my, my first vlog in a very long time because i was horrendously anxious for basically about six months. So I had to take a little bit of a break because needed to make sure I could carry on and do this. I'm okay now, so I'm back to traveling and um, this was probably the worst country to come to first. So basically from now on, I will be telling you exactly what I'm scared of and what I'm, what I'm anxious about before I go on the trip. Let's tell you what I'm anxious about, hey? So what am I anxious about? So the very first thing that I'm anxious about is food. I am a really picky eater. I am stressed out about the whole, what I'm gonna eat when I'm here, because I wanna eat, I like to eat, um, but I, I'm worried about what I'm going to be eating. <laughs> Second thing I'm worried about is the camels. <laughs> As much as I love animals, I'm really excited to get on one. I'm really scared that one's gonna bite me. <laughs> and I'm really worried that what, I'm gonna fall off one. I know that sounds really silly, but I'm really scared about it. The third thing I'm worried, <laughs> the third thing I'm worried about is um, I hear that the um, souks and the harassment levels in the souks um, with the Moroccan men are quite high. I don't take harassment very well. <laughs> I don't like to be bothered. <laughs> and I definitely don't like people in my face and screaming at me and shouting at me. So I really don't know how I'm gonna handle that very well. And the last one is obviously, I'm worried about who I'm gonna meet on the trip. I've always been anxious about who I'm going to meet on these trips and if I'm gonna get on with them. And I, I'm, I've got Asperger's and I don't make friends very well. <laughs> it takes a while to get to love me. Um, yeah. I'm always anxious about making friends though. God, look at my makeup. I've got no makeup on. Look at that, that is horrendous. I'm worried about who I'm gonna meet and if they're gonna like me. So yeah, that's what I'm anxious about. 
So without further ado, I'm going to leave, love you and leave you and I'm going to go to the bar and meet some people because I'm absolutely starving and I really need a strong vodka or something. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I'm excited, but I'm scared, but I'm anxious. It's going to be good. Today we're crossing high Atlas mountains. We did to the top, the highest possible road, oh, it's 2,260 meters high above the sea level. Listen, before I begin, let's introduce our driver, our beloved driver, Paul is smiling. His name is Amu. Could you say that? Amu? Amu. Yes. Everybody call him Amu. Amu means uncle. <laughs> Very windy road. I was very sick on the way here, but um, I feel a little bit better now. But the views are really just amazing. It's worth worth the, worth the travel sickness. But my stomach's still a bit. Ugh, now I've got to go all the way down again. Yeah. No one cares about the views anymore. <laughs> I wonder if I'm gonna get fleas. Yeah, we definitely are, but it's going to be worth it. <laughs> hey, little donkey! Yes. <laughs> no. Nope, 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 nope. 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 <laughs> we misjudged that. <laughs> Parking the animal there. Uh, Guys, he spent the day just like that, chilling, talking. Because I owe you money, she owe me money. I, I know that I will meet you here in this market. Everything important as I see it happened the week, it happens here. That's why everybody, even if you don't have anything to sell or to buy, I should be there. Because yeah, I'm here in the market. I'm important. Who was sick all the way down from Atlas Mountain? This girl. This girl right here. Massive tip if you've got travel sickness, make sure you take those tablets in advance. Those roads are really windy. on top of a mountain or a hill and it's the windiest conditions I've ever seen in my life and it's literally like rocks are being pelted at us from the desert and it's freaking out <laughs> oh god I swear I got hit by a massive stone in my head listen to this they never live at the same level as a kitchen toilet and guest rooms and animals they always live upstairs <laughs> oh God! Some crow. All right, Russell. <laughs> Every time they're finishing with decoration, they just ask the people to take them. That's why he get this. All these things from decoration of the movies. Yes, the sword. It's not real. It's fake. It's made in China. <laughs> Going for two hours.
after a very eventful day. I'm now clean. I'm now washed my hair. I feel like a bit of a decent human being again. And I don't feel sick anymore. But we are all going out. Uh, we've all checked into our hotel. Um, I, we are all going to a uh, restaurant together. She's got some chocolate. We've all checked into our hotel and um, we've all got clean, dressed and appropriate <laughs> and we are now going to um, a restaurant for dinner together as a group. So it should be fun.